Hello everyone, this is really exciting. So what we're now going to do is look at the 3D printed, what I call, subtech valve. Now, as you will notice from the previous video about the pump, it really requires this valve to work properly in a submarine. So I've produced them both at the same time and you can print them out and, and work them at the same time. Now if you want to know exactly how this uh, valve works, have a look at a previous video that I've done which goes into extraordinary detail about this and gives you a terrific view, plus how to build it on your lathe. We're not going to do that part, we're going to use our nice new 3D printed model with a couple of changes and a couple of better parts to it. So what you'll see is this is the new model right here. We have the two um, O-rings and the, the ball bear the, the uh, bearings that sit on top of that. This time, however, um, I've got the outlets in an upward position already so that um, it's much, much easier to, to, to bolt on because this needs to sit down in the bottom of the boat. We do not have an outlet going out that way. We have it going right out through the head, if you like, which is going to be glued on. And we've also got this nice base here, so you can screw it onto things. Personally, I don't want that, but this is all about you, you working this how you choose it to be. So these, this diagram should be very understandable to you after you've seen that other video. So, let's look at it and let's make one. So, this is our lovely 3D printed valve. Fantastic. Uh, you can see that these holes are really small. They're just pilots. Um, I'm going to use some 4 mil brass and I'm just going to cut them down and I'm going to drill these out with 4 mil, making sure, obviously, that we don't go through the base. Um, but that is basically all you have to do to begin with. I've also used a piece of acrylic which is going to go onto here. I've made a little mark on here to make sure I know which side the outlet goes and that's the way it sits and it's the one that doesn't have a hole in it which you can probably see so that's going to go on there like that and I'm going to glue that on with silastic and you need to get hold of some o-rings and these o-rings are they're about 7.6 millimeters on the outside you don't really want, you could have them a little bit less than that, but not very much, and you certainly couldn't have them any bigger. These fit in quite neatly, and so this is a, a really nice size. And then, of course, you need a stainless ball bearing, which in this case is six and a half millimeters, and you have to make sure it's stainless. And that is all we need. I'm going to now cut these and uh, we'll just assemble this and we'll have it done in about 10 minutes. So that's done. Um, I've now trimmed these back and um, I put a, an edge on them so that when I sink them down uh, it'll, it'll connect them with the horizontal hole inside this. If I don't do this you're going to push it down and you won't be able to get anything out of it. <clears throat> I've opened these holes up for a piece of 4mm uh, brass and now, um, if I push that in, yeah, that was going in all the way. It's my, I thought it was sticking. If that goes, well, I'll just check it by blowing in there. And sure enough, that's that's uh, the air is coming through there very nicely. What I will do is just pull that out a bit, run a little bit of super glue around there, and then push it in. And that'll be the end of that. The next thing to do is to put the O-rings in. Now, <clears throat> due to this being a 3D model, the bottom of that um, 
hole needs to be really nicely flat. Now it's not really. So what I'm going to do is use some silastic and I've got a nice long piece of rod here. And what I'm going to do is get this silastic sitting nicely down on that flat. So I'm going to do that first before I put these on because I want it to stick and there to be no um, leakage between the bottom of the seal and the bottom of this tube. You can overdo this a little bit, really doesn't matter because you can dig it out at the end. Thing is, as I push this little o-ring down, it'll take the silastic off the sides. Alright, so here's o-ring number one, going to its new life. Lovely. O ring number two. When I was a little boy and my mother decided I had a runny nose, she'd get, she'd get something like that and stick it down my nose. It felt awful. But it was well-meaning, just like this is done. Now the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the ball bearings into the top of that. I'm going to give them a little push. I'm going to put this aside for a few hours. Let that go off. I've taken out the two little O-rings. It's all looking clear inside. I had to tap them out, but that was just a tiny bit. Um, and just um, rub off any any remains of the silastic, but that's fine. There's no silastic really to be seen. So the next step is to glue my little cap on, and that's the side with the hole in it, so it goes on like this. Okay, so we now drop it on, and the beauty of using um, Perspex is I can see exactly where this is working and where it isn't, and where to push down. Of course, on that side it doesn't have to seal properly. And that looks lovely. So, I'll put this away and let that one dry. Here's our little valve. That's all nicely finished, and if I turn it upside down, I can hear both of the both of the ball bearings rattling around, which is nice. So now I'm going to get some epoxy and put this. And I'm not. You'll notice I'm not putting that anywhere near the end because it'll it'll plug everything up. But if I put that in now into that position. got a lovely sealed okay that's it they're at a bit of an angle mm, I can live with that now that all, all of that is off I might just cover that little thing off and just grind these sides off because I don't I don't want those but I'll wait till that all goes hard. Here is the wonderful wonderful valve. Now how do we know this is working? Where the um, the outlet is there I've got my rubber tube 
Now, if I put this into the water, what you see is if I go, if I blow into this. Out comes the water. If I suck, it's actually sucking in through this one, which is the top of the um, conning tower. That, that's sucking and blowing. Can't talk and do this at the same time. And when I blow in it, the bubbles come out there, which means that all the bubbles are coming out in the boat, when I suck, the air is coming down here and up there, which is exactly what we want. Now I'm doing the same again. Now this is the interesting bit. So what I'm doing is blowing, just putting very, very light pressure on here, and it's not coming out until I put higher pressure on. And that is enough to keep your ballast tank full.